But we are getting Noshi Faraday. For those that don't know, this is a Michigan State classic. Faraday recently came back on the scene at the start of this semester entering Bahamut. He was the last seed in my pool, and I'm like, damn, this guy's really good. He is underseeded. Which was understandable, be Faraday, because he hadn't entered any tournaments in like a few years. And I'm like, damn, he's really good. And then he started coming to our Michigan State locals, and he is now taking a lot of names. He has beaten Noshi in two sets now. I believe Noshi's still up. I believe their set count is Noshi's favor, four to two. They already played six times in the last two months. Very storied rivalry right here. At their last tournament, they went one and one, and I think at the tournament before that, they also went one and one, or something like that. Maybe it was a tournament before that. Yeah, what we have seen in the last couple of ERs is that Faraday will get the best of Noshi in winners, and then Noshi will win back the run back in losers. This is a best of three, and not a Mickey Mouse. Best of five, I all the way, best of seven grand winners like VR has. So, Yoshi might have has Kirby a different circumstance here where he's not dealing with Preston's Mickey Mouse bubble VR. This is like literally my first and we'll see how he can make this do. He's already a sock up here, looking pretty promising. Ooh, smart spot dodge. That's going to be a big combo. Josh, all money match you. No? All money match your Yoshi. No, it's my peach. Hello, Daisy. I was trying to give you an easy matchup with my, with my peach. Oh, okay. Faraday missed that ledge dash to ledge, but Yoshi did not take advantage of it. He still ends up getting the stock. Wow, that is a... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been surprised that Sheik's more recently have been starting to trend towards Yoshi's as well in this matchup. I've, whenever I played a little bit of uh, Fox and Sheik a few years ago, I always went to the Sage for Fox. What's up, Jordan? Do you have any thoughts on... Oh, tons of thoughts. God, I fucking love this matchup. Played this matchup for an hour with Faraday. Um, so much fun as Fox. Not really much fun as Sheik. When the Sheik can actually tech chase... I mean, I, re I respect when a Sheik can tech chase shit on me. Because it's like, yeah, you get fucked in the neutral. You know, you get destroyed in edge guarding. Um, yeah, I respect it. I respect it. Yeah, and it's like a lot of Sheiks don't have those reactions, so it's not really a big deal for the most part. But, you know, then you got J-Mook destroying Foxes, making the matchup look like it's winning for Sheik. And again, you got the people like Cody who actually do well against them. But regardless, Noshi doing well against Faraday the, at the tournament, it matters the most. They're dead even right now, I know that. I've been watching Faraday quite a bit. Um... Yeah, big Faraday fan. Just because I wish there was more Sheiks. I wish Hollow showed up to more things. Um, yeah. You know, I wish... Uh, I mean, you got Slick in Detroit. He shows up quite a bit. But, you know, he's got his own life. Good to have more Sheiks than just Slick. Slick's probably the most active Sheik up until now, where Faraday looks a little bit more active. But we got an even game, almost. Eh. Eh. Out of crouch cancel percentage. Not even. Questionable DI, you don't really have to DI up smash out at that percent. And you get edge guarded as a result. No, she's looking clean today though. I saw he beat Tyler. So clearly playing well at his uh, first month. Oh, he gets that jab reset. In Ann Arbor at least. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's been to a monthly in Ann Arbor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's been to a big tournament in Ann Arbor, but this is like his second one then. So he doesn't he doesn't come out here too often. Hmm. I'm not sure. Super Meat, they were there. No, she was at Super Meat. He was at Super Meat. You're right about that. 
<laughs> yeah. Summit. Regardless, doesn't come out here too often, so it's good that he's playing well the one time he does come out here. Um, it's looking really good for him. One thing, the biggest thing I noticed about him playing right now versus the way he usually plays, oh my oh. god, is his level of patience is kind of insane right now. Like, he do, he's feeling less spammy in a sense. Maybe he's watched his sets versus Faraday and realized he goes in too much. And uh, looks like it paid off. What'd you say? Going in is cringe? Eh. Eh. 